See Lindelof videos, AP Calculus, could we sketch the graph of a function if we were given the graph of its derivative function? So here, looking carefully, because gonna, this is going to catch you on the, on the AP exam, be careful what graph they're giving you. They're saying clearly here that this is the derivative, and we're asked to try to sketch what f of x might look like. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to start gathering some information. Remember that the height of the derivative is the slope of the function. So hopefully you can see that everywhere from here to here, the height of the derivative is positive, and therefore the function is increasing. Because here all these slope values are positive slope values. Don't worry about what the slope of this is. That's not what I'm counting. I'm counting the heights here. This is a positive height, positive height, positive height, positive height. These are still positive heights until I get under zero, right? So we know that f prime at x, the function that we're looking at right now, is greater than 0 for x is greater than negative 1, x is less than 1, isn't it? Therefore, f of x is increasing. f prime is equal to 0 at x is equal to negative 1 and x equals 1. On the AP exam, they call these horizontal tangents, and that's important to know. So we have these two horizontal tangents, and we also know that f prime is less than 0. The heights are less than 0 for x is less than negative 1 or x is greater than 1. Therefore, f is decreasing there. All right, so let's take a look at it. So I'm just going to draw in my Cartesian plane. If you don't mind, I'll draw in my Cartesian plane. And I'm going to give you a sketch of what this function might look like, what its tendency, it's definitely what its tendencies are. And I'm going to tell you that this is y is equal to f of x. This will not be to scale, but I know at negative 1, I didn't say negative 1, 0, but at this x by negative 1, we have a horizontal tangent. And we also know that the function increases everywhere between negative 1 and 1. So I don't know what the height is here, but the height here is less than the height here. So I can say, I'm going to call this my horizontal tangent, and here I'm going to have a horizontal tangent, and it's the only way that I can make my function increase everywhere in between. We also know that where x is less than negative 1, f is decreasing, so it's doing this. Everywhere between negative 1 and 1, f is increasing, so here's, let me draw a picture of it this way. So here's f increasing there, right? That's me using this piece right here, right? And then it says here clearly that f prime is less than 0. That means that the function is decreasing for greater than 1, so it's doing this. And it was also decreasing for less than negative 1. So this is my function. It bothers a lot of people because I can't tell you how much this goes up or down. I can't tell you exactly what this looks like, and I can't tell you where this horizontal tangent is, except for the fact I know it's on the line x is equal to negative 1. I just don't know where on this line. So look, I hope this was helpful. There's a ton of ways to get better at reading graphs, and you have to really, really work on it to become a master of it. So I encourage you, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do.